Hey guys, it's Fee. Happy Saturday, first of all. And today's prompt, today's prompt is a lot of people here are newer vloggers. What type of camera do you use to vlog with? What tips do you have for other vloggers? Well, I don't know if any of my tips are going to be worth a damn. <laughs> because um, I kind of take the easy way out with a lot of things just because I really enjoy vlogging. I really enjoy doing these videos. It's a great outlet. Um, it's a great hobby. It's a great way to meet new people. But I don't want it to be a second job because I already have a first job that takes up enough of my time. So I'm all for letting this be fun without it taking over my life entirely. Though VEDA, when I do VEDA, that, that takes over my life. Vlogtober is not quite as bad because the rules aren't as harsh. But um, yeah, I, I'm, I'm all for the easy way out, kind of, sort of. <laughs> I, as an example, I, I use my iPad Air to record. I know that if I use a DSLR, which I do own, um, that it would probably look awesome sauce. But I, I am an Apple user, and I have become attached to Apple products because it is so darn easy for me to just take this video and either edit it right on here or transfer it over to my MacBook Pro in literally a matter of seconds and edit it there and uploaded it and I'm done. For whatever reason, using the DSLR, uh, it just, I don't know, it adds an extra step in there, kind of. Yeah, you still have to uh, upload it to your PC or whatever device you're going to use to upload it to YouTube with or to possibly edit it first. But, I don't know, the Apple products just make my life easier. I, I am willing to admit that. Apple Apple kind of has me in a stranglehold. <laughs> and so far, I'm, I'm okay with that. I am. Um, my other problem is, is my DSLR doesn't really have a viewfinder that I can flip the other direction. So if I were to use it to record right now, I wouldn't be able to see myself. I wouldn't be able to see if I'm actually in the frame, if I'm in focus, if anything has thrown off the focus or the color or anything. So until I'm willing to get a different DSLR that has a viewing panel that can be flipped one way or the other, I, it's probably the other reason why I don't do it because this is definitely easier because I can see myself. I can see myself. Um, and actually, <laughs> when I first started, that was really awkward to watch yourself talking into nothingness. But after a while, you get used to that, and being able to see yourself while you're recording um, has definitely, definitely made my life easier than trying to do it um, on an iPhone. An iPhone works, but the screen is a little small for me. Or, like I said, on a DSLR that does not have a flippable viewfinder. So, anyhow, yes, I use my iPad Air. I think it does a pretty decent job considering what I'm using. I've seen better videos. I've seen worse videos. So I'm, I'm okay with mine. <laughs> I am. Um, I don't use the regular camera app that comes with the iPad. I use an app called Movie Pro because it has some added features on it that I've found to be really handy. Um, a lot of the features that I use the most are right on the screen right now as buttons, including one right up here that you can't see, but I can. That's why I'm pointing to it, because I can see it. <laughs> that allows me to flip from the front camera to the back camera and vice versa on the iPad, which, believe it or not, is a really handy function. I've used it numerous times, especially during kind of random vlogs, tags, real real vlogging where I'm showing my life. I don't do that very often, but I have used that option and I've had people ask me how I easily flip the camera back and forth without having to cut the video off and splice it together. That's how I do it with this great little button. Um, there are other apps where you can just pause it and flip the camera. Some of them will cut the video off. Some of them will continue. I just like this one because it's clean and it works. Um, I all, this also has a, a mic button, a timer, a zoom in and out, an autofocus, an auto white balance, an auto adjust, a pause, um, a stop, all right on this display right here. And like I said, I also edit, I edit using iMovie. 
I use iMovie on the iPad, I use iMovie on the MacBook Pro. I actually prefer that full version on, on the Pro. There's more features. Um, there's a ton more features, actually, than the one that they give you for iPad. The one on the iPad works. I used it for, like, a year. Probably a little more than that, actually. I, I haven't had my, my, my MacBook for that long. But um, it's worth the time and effort to learn iMovie. It's really not that difficult once you get the swing of it. And it really spiffs up your videos quite nicely. There are more complicated apps out there and programs. iMovie gives me more than what I need and as much as what the average person does and it allows me to do it quickly and easily. So that's really all I use. Um, off of my iPad, if I am uploading directly from my iPad, I tend to use YouTube Capture. Now, I don't use YouTube Capture to edit or anything. I just use it to upload. I upload the file that um, I export from iMovie through there. Now, the reason why I do that is, as a while ago, I used to have a problem with uh, uploading files to YouTube. They get stuck in processing. I'd get errors. Half the time, I couldn't figure them out. And for whatever reason, whenever I used YouTube Capture to upload, I never had a problem, even if the vlog was like 45 minutes long, which I have been known to do on occasion. As for through the MacBook Pro, I just use the regular YouTube uploader, and I've never had a problem. So I don't know what the difference is between uploading from a iPad versus an iPhone versus a computer, but that is the things that I found and that's worked for me. Other than that, tips? I don't know. I don't have too many tips. Other than make sure you know what you're going to talk about before you get in front of this thing. I, uh, <laughs> I used to write down all the time what I was going to say. And that helped me at first because I was, like, really nervous when I first started doing this. After a while, I got used to it, and then I could just kind of just get on here and spew and ramble like I do these days. I ramble like I'm doing right now. But uh, if you don't have a remote inkling of what you're going to ramble about, at least I have a problem with that. I'll get on here, and I'll just start stuttering. So that's... The one tip I can give you. And uh, if you're doing a serious video, like something you need to get out, you want to get out to the populace, it's important to you, find a door and close it. <laughs> because it's Murphy's Law that you're going to be in the middle of a really important video and either the phone's going to ring. That's the other thing. Put your phone on silent when you do vlogs. <laughs> The phone is always going to ring, or it's always going to make some kind of noise, or somebody's going to walk into the room, or in my case, I'm going to get a kitty bomb. I get, you guys will learn this. Those of you who don't know me, I have eight cats. So you're going to be seeing a lot of cats, and chances are they will bomb my videos. You'll see one behind me jumping around, jumping through. It's always been cute so far, but if I could always kind of block them out of the room that I am happening to be vlogging in. I would, but my house isn't always conducive for that. But if yours is, I would highly recommend it. <laughs> uh, what else? That's probably about it. Make it interesting. Be yourself. I think that's the other important part. Be, your, be yourself. You don't want to be fake on here. People will figure out that you're faking it, so to speak. Um, they want to see the real you. Uh, most people follow people's channels or their journeys like mine because you want to see it all. You want to see the good, you want to see the bad, you want to see the sad, you want to see the angry. So regardless of what you're feeling that day, if you've made the decision to put yourself out here, you got to show it all because that's just part of life. And that's what, that's what we're seeing out here, people. That is what we're doing. We're sharing lives with each other and learning from it. So that's it. That's all I got. I don't know if any of that was worth a hell of a bit of beans, but that's that's what I've got. That's uh, Fee's Ramble Fest for Vlogtober Day 4, and that's what I do when I vlog. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.